Welcome to the fourth MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to filter noise out of accelerometer sensor data. We'll be using the same hardware setup from the second tutorial. The first type of filter we'll look at is an exponential moving average filter. For reference, it may be classified as a first order feedback low pass filter. Filtering is performed to remove unwanted noise from a captured signal and the low-pass filter will attenuate high-frequency noise and pass the low-frequency signal. As the equation below shows, the output is a weighted sum of the most recent sensor reading, GX raw, and the previous filter output, GX filt old. The filter coefficient, alpha, controls how much filtering is applied. Alpha ranges from 0 to 1. For alpha equal to 1, it can be seen that the output is equal to the input and no filtering is applied. As alpha is decreased from 1, the raw data is weighted less and more filtering is applied. Let's add an EMA filter to the vector.m script shown in tutorial 3. Before the while loop, initialize the x-direction filter variable gxfilt to 0 and the alpha variable between 0 and 1. In the while loop, use this equation to update the value of gxfilt with the new accelerometer reading weighted by alpha plus the old value of the filter weighted by 1 minus alpha. I use a subplot command to show a line plot of the raw data to the left and the filter data to the right. Running the script with similar additions for the y-axis, I have also added code to vary alpha with the slider for this video. Again, when alpha equals 1, no filtering is applied and the graphs are identical. Lowering alpha to 0.9, little filtering is applied. It may be difficult to see the difference between the two graphs as I turn the accelerometer. As I lower alpha to 0.1, more filtering is applied and the lines move more smoothly. Note that the jumps that you may see, such as noise in the left graph, are not present on the right. With heavy filtering, it also takes longer for the filter variable to match a steady state variable of the raw data. The second type of filter we'll look at is the simple moving average filter. This filter computes the average value of acceleration from a constant number of readings. As shown by the equation below, the filter moves with time, so as a new reading is taken, gxi, it comes into the sum and the oldest value, gxi minus n plus 1, is dropped down. For example, with a window size of n equals to 3, the filtered output is the sum of gx3, gx2, and gx1 divided by 3. An SMA filter can be easily added to the magnitude.m script shown in tutorial 3 because the vector gx data stores the past accelerometer readings. Before the while loop, initialize the x direction filter variable gx data filt as a vector of zeros and the variable taps as a positive whole number. In the while loop, after updating gx data, Update GX data filt in the same way, but for the new value, take the arithmetic mean of the last value, decremented to the number of taps. This time, I'll add a subplot on the bottom of the filter data. Running the script with similar additions for the Y axis, I've also added a slider to vary the number of taps. With one tap, there is no filtering and the graphs are the same. As I increase the number of taps, the smoothing effect becomes apparent in the lower graph. There is less noise in the signal, though the time it takes for an axis to switch from plus 1g to minus 1g also increases. With 10 taps, fast movements such as shaking are barely noticeable. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.